Hi Gemini, welcome to this week's love reading. My name is Rosa and you have joined Cancer Moon Oracles where we're going to dive on in and see what messages want to come through for you in love and relationship this week. Do keep in mind the reading is general so the messages may or may not apply to you. However, if you're feeling like they're connecting to your current situation then be sure to show your support Gemini. Otherwise, if you would like to book a personal reading, um, there are limited places and it is a matter of first in best dressed. We will take a look at the messages that are coming forward um, to begin with and then we'll take a look at, at your energy and then your person's energy. The person that you're dealing with and connecting to in love and or relationship this week, Gemini. Okay, first card coming through is the Seven of Pentacles. Spirit angels and guys, what messages do you have for our Geminis? This week in love. Queen of Pentacles reversed. You could be connecting to an earth sign. Page of Swords reversed. You could be connecting to another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, there's the devil. Capricorn energy. The judgment. Okay, this one wants to come through. Five of Wands reversed. Okay, and the Three of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups with the Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like a situation or a relationship's gotten out of hand this week or it will get out of hand if it hasn't happened already. Okay, with the Devil here it would suggest that something's starting to become unhealthy. Maybe you're starting to see an unhealthy dynamic play out this week. It could be um, due to partying or drinking or excess partying or drinking here. For some of you Geminis, I feel that um, this could be like a friends with benefits situation. But it's kind of like got you hooked or addicted to this person or vice versa. Now, with the Ten of Wands reverse tells me here that someone doesn't really want anything more than this casual affair, okay? Because the Ten of Wands reverse tells me that I'm not willing to put in the effort. I'm not willing to feel obligated to provide um yeah, this is someone who's just happy to keep it cool and cash. But with the devil here, it's telling me it's starting to affect somebody here. Okay, this, this arrangement is not okay for one of you. It's, it's starting to create a bit of internal tension here. I feel with the Page of Swords in reverse here, you're struggling to maybe, because you're, you're air energy Gemini, so it could be here that you're struggling to actually articulate or express yourself or maybe confront this person. I feel with the Judgment card here, you're not liking, you're not liking something here. You're not liking this arrangement. And you might feel that you're being put in a position where you have to call this person out or you just have to call yourself out on this. I see you reflecting um, long and hard. You may be looking at this connection or this relationship thinking, you know, I've, I've poured a lot into this situation. I've been with this person for quite some time. 
is it worth me trying to keep this going? Is it worth my time to keep this going? Could this eventually turn into something more? The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. To me, it feels like someone isn't as committed as the other. Okay. Someone is turning their back. So this Queen of Pentacles is turning the back, their back on the Seven of Pentacles. So let's get some clarity, shall we? Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're not... Also, too, when I see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is telling me that someone is starting to feel used. Okay, you might be feeling used or the person that you're connecting to is starting to feel used or undervalued. We have the Eight of Swords reverse. I feel someone doesn't want to stay stuck in, in, in this dynamic. The reason being is because the devil's here. We can, we're can starting to recognize that this is not healthy. This is not okay for me. I don't want to be in a situation like this. Let's take a look at this devil energy. Four of Wands. Yeah, because someone wants something more serious here. Okay. Um, and all you're getting is, you know dirty sex or just someone popping in and out for something physical but you're wanting to establish or someone here in this dynamic is wanting to establish a solid foundation but it's a little bit hard if the connection was built on something sexual to begin with um, if it if it is a friends with benefits arrangement, how do we get that friends of benefits arrangement to to this four of wands, something more established? You know. So um, let's take a look at your feelings then. Let's take a look and see how you're feeling this week, Gemini. How you're feeling towards this person? Seven of Swords. You're still tiptoeing around the issue. You're still tiptoeing around this person. Okay, you're treading very carefully. And again, because, you know, I do see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She doesn't think, um, she thinks she's the problem. She doesn't think highly of herself. She doesn't value herself enough when she's in the reverse. So you may not feel as confident or as empowered to confront this person. Yeah, six of cups. You know, you feel that you have a special bond with this person. You may have invested a few years with this person and, and that, that would be hard. Okay, that would be hard. Yeah, Page of Cups. This is the card of fantasy. You, you've always dreamed of maybe getting married, having children, building um, a relationship, a, a committed relationship with someone here. And I'm feeling that through the Six of Cups. You may be putting this person up on a pedestal. My question to you is, Gemini, is this person, do they deserve to be put up on this platform? Or are you just looking at this person through rose-tinted glasses? Because the Page of Cups tends to do that. Yeah, because look at this, Ten of Pentacles. You want this with this person. You want to build something long-lasting with this person. I see it. I see it. Let's clarify the Page of Cups. That's your fantasy. That's what you're dreaming of. 
Three of Swords. But could you be letting yourself down? I feel like you could be letting yourself down because you're choosing not to see the reality. Okay, Page of Wands, thinking about the future. Okay, let's take a look at this person's feelings then. All right, let's take a look at this person's feelings. How are they feeling? How is this person feeling towards our Geminis or the current situation with Gemini? Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have in regards to Gemini's person and how they're feeling towards Gemini this week? <laughs> They've got the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. They know you want something serious with them. But with the Ace of Swords, they feel that they need to tell you the truth. Okay, Nine of Wands here. Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. Yeah, yeah. The, the situation is stressing this person out. They don't want to have to face or deal with this. Okay, it is creating some kind of tension, stress or worry for this person. I feel there is a limitation here. There's only so much that this person can take or even just wants from this connection. I do feel with the Ace of Swords that this person needs to come clean and honest with you about where this is all going. They can sense that you want something more with them. But with the Nine of Wands here, I'm just really drawn to this boundary here. Are they prepared to... I guess, are they prepared to cross their own boundaries? Let's clarify this Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups. I do feel like this person cares about you. Let's just grab another card. But they're not being honest with you. Yeah, then they're, they're not. They're not being honest with you. They may be telling you what you want to hear, but I actually feel like this person isn't telling you the truth. They know they need to come clean and tell you the truth. Let's clarify this um, Five of Swords. Spirit, angels and guides. Yeah. Look at this, the lovers. To me, the lovers is more of like a physical, highly passionate connection. It's an intense connection. Something that maybe started off as more physical. Um, you know, the pressure of having something more is really starting to get to this person. Four of Pentacles reversed. They they don't want. They don't want it. I'm seeing this person wanting to let it go. Mm. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. You know, it takes two people. It takes two people for any kind of relationship to work out where they're both contributing to the relationship. But this King of Swords knows that they need to come clean about what it is that they really want here. And I feel like they want to cut themselves away. They want to untie themselves or free themselves from the situation. Six of Swords reverse, but they're having a hard time doing that. <laughs> the Emperor, because the sex is too good. Okay. I do feel with the Two of Wands underneath that they're at some kind of a crossroad. And they're ultimately trying to work out what's going to be best for them with the Nine of Cups. What's going to ultimately make them happy. 
It could be that somewhere down the track with the Hierophant here that they do change their mind and they are looking for something serious, but I feel like right now they're at this crossroad where they need to make a major decision about what it is that they want from this situation or connection. But for now, they're holding back. Okay. So there we have it, Gemini. That's your reading. Hopefully that helps. Um, and until next time, take care.